I am leaving Tata, looking for the last provisions. Gonna get bread and uh, maybe some pastry. Must be a pastry shop here. Bakery and a pastry shop. Ah, look at the bakery. I left Tata officially. Rumbo Marrakesh. I'm heading to Marrakesh. I have to be there by Friday evening. So five days riding. I've enjoyed staying in uh, Tata with uh, Sebastian from Turbolento. Jasmine uh, had some uh, family things to take care. So she went back to Italy. Lovely stay. I stayed at the at the campsite where uh, Seba was staying and they had like a storage room and I just put my bike and my tent there, grabbed a desk from uh, and a chair from the reception and yeah I just gave them uh, at the end I stayed there uh, five nights. I gave them basically two euro per night. Which is okay. Man, there are so many flies. And for some reason they bite. Really. Fuckers. Cross the river. That's the well. And I cross the river. Oh man. That's some work. I took three liters of water at the well. This one is water from the well. It's good. Today is quite hot, 33 degrees, but up to the Atlas at high elevation. It shouldn't be too warm, I guess. Finished crossing the valley. It's five o'clock. I need to ride another two hours, at least. About one hour to sunset. I'm tempted to call it a day, but better to ride a little bit into the evening. It's cooler, it's easier. It's a bit windy in the evening, but... At the moment it's okay. It's late. It's 20 past 10. I'm hiding in this uh, little spot of uh, shadow. The only shadow in probably in kilometers. I just finished to cook uh, my pasta for uh, breakfast. And yeah, quite late because this morning was cold and uh, yeah, I made breakfast, I cooked pasta and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a bit late in the morning. These river crossings are uh, complicated when it's dry. Imagine if there was water. And I keep losing the trail. So the trail turns out to be in the middle of the river. It's challenging after the rains because it rains so much that on my map there is only half of that river. Very, very challenging when the river double in size and the road is next to the river. But I can see the trail there. I just need to across all these uh, rocks now and uh, should be able to pedal again. Another river crossing, but this is easy. I can see the trail on the other side. Yeah, it's one meter down. These roads are quite challenging. I don't think I'll ever make it to Marrakesh in time. I think by tomorrow I need to switch to paved roads. We'll see. 
stuff, tough going. This climb is tougher than I thought, much tougher than I thought. This is the only easy part. It's just these rocks. It's very, very difficult to, to ride on the rocks. At least the higher I go, the fresher it gets. The sun is really hot, but at least the air is uh, quite cool. No way to cycle up this. No way. Ah, oh, fuck no. Lunch time. Still have a long, long way to go. Long, long way. The problem is you can't cycle on this. It's fucking rocks. Impossible to cycle. Luckily, I don't have a car. Imagine the effort of coming here and having to go back. I didn't do much today, yeah? I was at the bottom of the river. Still a bit to climb. Brutal, brutal. On top, who knows? Still going up. And on this side. But now, will I be going down? I don't think so. Current elevation 1860, but I'm not still not at the top. This climb doesn't want to end. I don't understand. But at least we're going down a little bit here now. I think we are going down. All right, I left my route because uh, it goes into the mountains and these trails, uh, I'm too slow. I need to get to Marrakesh by Friday and I need to cross the Atlas. So I will stay on this road for a while. It's kind of a dirt road, but not, not too dirt. So that's that. I need to change my plan, but today, like I struggled the whole day, like I'm spent and I did 20 kilometers. And I need to meet this friend in Marrakesh because, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I'm getting some resupplies. I need to replace my chain and uh, I need sealant, I need lube, a few things. My teeth are covered in wax. I just passed a village and one guy stopped me. I thought he was the chef, but no, it was just a well-off guy that wanted to offer me a snack. So he took me to his house for tea, bread, and super raw honey. It was, there was bits and pieces of wax and all the good stuff in there. It was so good. So, so good. The day is winding down and I'm looking at what's ahead of me. A lot, a lot of climbing. I need to make some progress towards Marrakech. Today I have another 40 minutes to ride and then I'll hide somewhere in plain sight. Another successful campsite. I camped underneath this because um, there was no way to get shelter. There is a bigger road there. And this area is kind of flat. You cannot see it now because we are down a couple of meters, but 
on this little road if I would camp somewhere there I will be seen everywhere and if I continue also for a while uh, the terrain is, is the same so here I was well hidden I was kind of sheltered from the wind as you can see if I was put in the tent somewhere there I was visible by that road and even this one so this is a bigger road I will be following today so that I can make some progress towards uh, Marrakesh today there is a big climb last night I was so tired that uh, I didn't even have dinner it was uh, when I get so tired I I'm too tired to eat and to cook. So I had a few cookies and that's it. And this morning too. But in 30 kilometers, I should arrive to a village and I can get food there. Getting closer to the atlas. My descending ends here at this village. I chill a little bit in the village to sit out the hottest hours of the day. It's four o'clock now. Slowly but surely it will start to cool down. I think today I did uh, good progress. It was mostly all downhill. But I already did 72 kilometers. I can ride another uh, three hours almost. I might take a break though, because from here on is all uh, climbing. Except maybe the first day in Ador. I don't think I ever seen so many trees in uh, in Morocco. Still climbing. Wow, it's a long, long climb. I don't remember climbing so much in a long time. We still have uh, quite a while to go. Oh. Hey! Man. This climb is never ending. I think I'm approaching the 20 kilometers mark. Maybe I should start finding a place to camp. We call it a day because it was a long day. Football field. Moroccan edition. Well, there are not that many opportunities to camp here. Man, unless you want to put the tent in these fucking rocks. Let's go down a bit. Even those things, it's... Uh, it looks uh, fine, but it, it's, it's all rocks. And there are still people going around. Look at these dudes. That's the, the bus service. The chicken bus. Salam alaikum.
Still going down rocks. The river became a real river. It's complicated today. Very complicated. Beautiful sunset. I knew it, I should have camped at the top. Now I have a ravine on the left and these rocks on the right. I mean, I don't know. Let's keep going. Something will come up. In the pitch dark last night, I found this cord just next to the road. And I camped here. Perfect. Perfect. This is where I put my tent. I woke up very, very early because I, you never know when the school starts in uh, different countries. I remember once I I camp at the entrance of a school in uh, in Finland, and at five thirty there was already people there, like the cleaners or something like that. Anyway, now I need to go on that road. I'm going up. Goodbye, school. The sun is rising now. It's been a while before I got up so early before the sunrise. Today it's going to be a marathon. Very, 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 very long climb. The sun has finally arrived in the valley. Some proteins before climbing. This little village was not on my map, but I saw the, the shop and the bar. I had to stop and get some food. An omelette of five eggs, one of these big breads, the best bread I ever had in, uh, in Morocco, and a glass of, uh, well, one tea, a big glass of tea, 17 dirhams, one euro 50. It's okay, a little bit more expensive than my pasta, but I needed some proteins. Yes, that's like 20%. Uh, Fuck me. It's, it's a wall. That's my tail. 1800. Taking a break. 27 kilometers I've been climbing already. I'm at 2100 meters of elevation. I think I'm getting there. I think it's the last 100 meters to climb. of elevation, yeah. Look, some snow. Still didn't melt. Okay, I've done it. Let's check. 29.43 kilometers. Almost 30 kilometers of climbing. That was some effort. I need to leave my mark. That's it, my clits. Holy moly. I wanna hope I don't have to go right. Take the next lift. All right. I got so. I need to climb again. Very sad, very, very sad. Now I really hope to descend for a while. more climbing. Now I deserve a very, very long descent. Hello, buddy. 
Hello. I need to climb again immediately. I do not understand. When I was on the other side, there was not a meter of going down. 30 kilometers up here. Here? I don't know. Let's climb again. What about now? Long downhill or what? I'm starting to hate this descent. Every couple of kilometers I need to climb another hill. It's absurd that I have to climb all the way down. Absurd. It starts to bother me you now. According to the map, I'm still going down. But I have to get up there. Even today, it's not going to be easy to find a place to camp. We were from one side, mountain on the other side. To be honest, I had seen this situation on the map, but I thought I would be out an hour ago. I underestimated the amount of climbing that was involved in following the river. Lovely campsite. Can you see the mountain full of snow? So the lake is down there. I got to a village and then I had to climb up here. And then there is immediately another village on the other side. So Lucky they found this uh, place. It's very close to the road. The road, I don't know if you can see it, is down there. But I was, uh, I got here in the pitch dark. And uh, yeah. it took me a while to find a spot with, uh, without any stones. But I did find it. Let's go to Marrakesh. I'm about 60 kilometers from Marrakesh. Now I have a climb to do. It's a supposedly a gentle climb for a few kilometers, I think uh, five, six kilometers. And then now we start to descend into Marrakesh. Loads of snow in, in the Atlas. Getting closer to Marrakesh. I'm always amazed at the difference between the have and the have nots. In certain countries, it's too big. Slow entry into Marrakesh, three kilometers from the city center. That's it, officially in the center. That's how you go around in a Muslim country. No bra, sleeveless, well done. That's the way you travel, respecting the culture. Let's see where my friends, Riyadh is. Everything here is for tourists, every shop. Fucking hell, are you serious?